Mullet Hall is a race that we came up with uh, last year. It's going to be a 5 and 10 mile trail run out at the Mullet Hall Equestrian Center on Johns Island. It's definitely a trail race. It's, uh, we have 20 some miles of trails out, on, uh, out at Mullet Hall Equestrian Center. Um, they were given to us and kind of planned around horseback riding and trail riding for equestrian events, obviously, but uh, it's something that recently we decided we wanted to get some, some other folks out there to see the trails. So we uh, put it out there at John's Island. Like I said, it's 20 some miles and uh, we're going to be doing five and 10 mile loops out there. The idea of the race is kind of doing the kind of double meaning of the mullet hall, kind of that that the the mullet haircut, the so to speak, you know, kind of embracing that and kind of the redneck side of it and keeping it fun and kind of keeping it themed that way. So last year we had people out in wigs and cut off jean shorts and camouflage tank tops out there uh, doing a five and ten mile trail run, which definitely was a lot of fun and different different side of the uh different side to running than you definitely see in a lot of races how and why the race started is uh you know we were kind of our festival and events department was kind of charged with coming up with some ideas and um, kind of using some properties that aren't being seen by the general public. You know, a lot of people think of Charleston County Parks as James Island, Wanamaker, and Palmetto Islands County Parks. And we want to really want to show people that there's a lot more that the parks has to offer and kind of open up some areas that, you know, they might not get to see regularly. Like I said, Mullet Hall is specifically for uh, horseback riding, but, you know, once, twice a year, we'd love to have events to bring people out and kind of showcase that facility. Um, this kind of has given us that opportunity. This will be the second year. Um, last year was our first year. We were really happy with the turnout. Um, we had 150 total runners between the two races, and uh, we, we'd really like to have continue to grow that event. You know, it's Definitely got a lot of room for growth out there. Um, plenty of parking, plenty of space, plenty of trails. So, uh, Mullet Hall Equestrian Center. It's on uh, Johns Island. Um, it's out towards almost almost all the way to Kiowa. Um, again, it's a uh, it's a great facility that we have out there, and you know it's. A little bit of a hike, but we do start the race a little later in the in the morning, so uh, it gives pl people plenty of time to make the drive out there. Uh, it's going to be on March tenth. Uh, the race starts at ten a.m. Um, we're going to start packet pickup at eight thirty. Uh, like I said, it gives uh, that time of year it gives a little more time to warm up and uh, it gives people plenty of time to drive out there because it is a little bit of a ways out on John's Island. Registration is open. We, uh, we already have a couple people registered. Um, we'll be looking to get uh, posters out and you know, get the website all uh, fully updated and ready to go. The race is going to be uh, $34 uh, for the five mile with a discount of $28 for Charleston County residents and $44 for the 10 mile race, $36 for Charleston County residents. Not, not the morning of, it's just it's such a, such a long trek out there that we'll just have that packet pack pick up in the morning of the race. Post-racing awards, this is where it kind of really separates ourselves. Um, we're going to be having a Palmetto Brewery out there for the post-race uh, party, uh, along with live music, and then awards will be given, um, supplied by the foot store, and uh, as well as um, award plaques and things like that.